In this video, we are going to look at the frequency function of Excel. Now the frequency function will count how often values occur within specific ranges. And it's an array formula, so it will return multiple results. Now in this example, I have a table named TBL scores with some students and their score. And we want to know how many of those scores, how many of those values occurred within specified ranges. Now for the frequency function to work, you need to enter the upper limit of each range. So in range D2 to D6, we have those different thresholds. We have the upper limit of 59 and then 69, 79 and 89. So in cell E2, if we were to enter the frequency function in here, the data array are the array of scores. So from that table, that's the score column. And the bins array is the range entered in D2 to D5. So if I was to close off that bracket and run this formula, that would spill five results. So the first value of three is using the upper bound of 59. So that is how many scores occurred within the range of zero to 59, or less than or equal 59. Four scores occur greater than 59, six that are greater than 69, five greater than 79, and then two that are greater than or equal to the value of 90. So in that threshold column, I could indeed add in that value and say 90 in there to help the readability of these results. So that's how the frequency function works, works on those upper bounds of the ranges. Now, I find that that can be quite confusing to work with, or more importantly, to read. So in column G, I've entered the ranges in a more explicit manner. Anybody reading this can see that the first answer will be 0 to 59, and then 60 to 69, and so on. Now we could use that column just to display those ranges in that manner, and use frequency in the same way we just did. But instead, I'm just going to copy over this frequency header, and we're going to write a formula that uses the frequency function and uses the values in column G. So let's get going with this. Let's start with that frequency function and I'll tell it to use the data in the score column of TBL scores. And then when it asks for the bins array, this time I'm going to use a function called text before. And I'm gonna use this to extract the score that lower end of the score that precedes the hyphen character. So I'll tell it to use range G3 to G6 and to look for that hyphen character. Once I've extracted that, I'm then going to wrap the value function around. So this will convert the text returned by text before into a numeric value. And I'm going to subtract one because as we can see in the thresholds on the left, although I've entered 60 there to make it easier to read, the value the frequency function wants is 59. It will be looking for everything less than or equal to the value of 59. So if I close off that bracket and press enter, you'll see I've got exactly the same results as before, but this time in a table or in a range, that's easier to interpret. With that done, we could happily then select that range and use it as the source of a column chart and start building our own histogram or our own column chart from those bins. And I won't take that any further as working with charts is a topic for another day. Right now, we wanted to focus on building that frequency distribution table. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and why not subscribe 
so that you can be sure to receive the latest video tutorials at this channel. Take care and I'll see you again soon.